To understand the biomechanical basis of curve running, we compared maximum curve running performance and stride kinematics for six non-amputee sprinters and 11 sprinters with transtibial amputations. Subjects sprinted on straight, counterclockwise curves, and clockwise curves. Non-amputees ran 2% slower on clockwise compared to counterclockwise curves. Sprinters with an amputation ran 4% slower with their affected leg on the inside compared to the outside of the curve. During curve running, non-amputees and athletes with an amputation had longer contact times with their inside versus their outside leg, suggesting that the inside leg limits curve running performance. For sprinters with an amputation, the prolonged contact times with the affected leg versus unaffected leg seemed to limit maximum running speed both during straight running and running on curves, with the affected leg on the inside of the curve. This is a measurable difference, and it could add up to two-tenths of a second over a 200-meter race. This means that you could win the race or get fourth and not even end up on the podium. To make a fair comparison, we suggest that sprinters with a left leg amputation should be assigned to the outer lanes of the track.